Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to another episode of The Feels Reactions. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at something that leaked of like weeks ago. Weeks ago. Um, so, according to uh, Alpha L5 or the Black Cat Ransomware Group, they uh, claim to have, you know, ransom attack the 2023 video game uh releases from bandai namco now obviously some of this isn't going to be true obviously but there's something i want to say towards the end of this um that we're going to get into so it says here the article rumors have surfaced online regarding a potential hack by video game by video game publisher bandai namco according to available inf information a group of hackers known by the nickname L5 Ransomware Group and Black Cat hacked Bandai Namco and demanded a ransom for information. This publish this publisher is responsible for the distribution of such games as Ace Combat, Dark Souls, Tekken, Dragon Ball, Soul Calibur, and others. According to the data received, the leak releases still took place and we received interesting data regarding what Bandai Namco plans for 2023. Based on what we've seen, the first quarter will mark the releases of games like Armored Core and Dragon Ball The Breakers, Little Nightmares 3, as well as Dragon Ball's Fighter Z Super, Digimon Story, and Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth 2. Should be released in the second quarter of 2023, Elden Ring, Barbarians of the Badlands, Tales of Ascension, and Tekken 8 may hit stores. In the third quarter, ending 2023, is Bandai Namco is planning to release Code Vein 2, One Punch Man, Fighters Association, and Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. Bandai Namco is a Japanese video game development. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all that. So with that being said, looking at this list, I'm not completely convinced. Here's the thing. There's no doubt in my mind that they are planning to release these games or they're making these games or, you know, they're planning on releasing these games or whatever the case may be but they're definitely something the, the only thing i don't believe when it comes to lists like this because let's be honest when they release information like this whether it be like a hacker group or something it always turns out to be true with the exception of a few things one of the things that is an exception is the release dates i don't think every game on this list is coming out in 2023 i just don't believe that because Dragon Ball The Breakers actually has a release date of 2022. Now that could, that release year could be a placeholder, but I know they was working on this game for, you know, a little bit. And I think the date of it got pushed back and they planned on releasing this, uh, this year from based on the information. You know, if you go to Google and you type in, Dragon Ball The Breakers, they're going to say that the release date is 2022. They don't have a month or a day, but 2022 is the release date for it. So, that kind of makes me doubt the time as to when these games are supposed to be released. Now, as far as some of the other games, like Little Nightmares 3, I mean, I'm pretty sure they was working on that. I heard through Grapevines they was working on that game. And I've seen some things that I wish I could have found for the, for, the, for the sake of this video, but I couldn't find it. But I, but I do believe Little Nightmares 3 is coming next year. Uh, I doubt they will release it this year. Dragon Ball Fighters, I, I have no doubt in my mind that they are willing to make a sequel to Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm just not going to even doubt that. Dragon Ball Fighters has been a massively successful uh, fighting game, you know, for those of us who do enjoy fighting games, not to mention for the fighting game community, you know, the FGC, it's been big in video game tournaments all over the world. It's been one of those games that when Marvel vs. Capcom let us down with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, this kind of stepped in as a replacement for that. And a good replacement has it been because this is this basically took off in a way that if Marvel vs. Capcom is going to come back, they're going to have to do better than what, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters did. Um, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth 2, you know, they had Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Then they had Hacker's Memory, which is kind of like a 1.5. But they there were some elements in uh, Hacker's Memory 
that made me believe that there was going to be there's going to be a sequel to this game. Tales of Ascension, I'm not doubting that whatsoever because they always come up with a Tales of, you know, that's a franchise in itself. Elden Ring, I'm still on my very first playthrough of this game and I barely even cracked like a third of the game. But I've seen other people's playthroughs and there were areas in the game that pretty much let you know that there was going to be an expansion. You know, I, I doubt this is going to be a com a full game uh, on its own. Um but it's definitely going to be some expansion because there were areas in Elden Ring that you couldn't explore. So most definitely that's, that's on the way. Um, Tekken eight. Now for those of us who've been paying attention to Evo, now Evo is like the super bowl of all fighting game tournaments. They always take place once a year in August and let's see, it's the eighth. They had the three day tournament event on, the 7th, the 6th, and the 5th of August. So it was over the weekend. And during the Tekken uh, portion of the tournament, uh, they made a reference to the number 8. And at this point, it's almost like an April Fool's joke. You know we're going to, like, we already know you're going to do it at this particular time. So to try to say that you're hiding anything it's just a waste. We know it's coming. You made a ref you, you made a reference to the number eight. We know it's for Tekken eight. You're not fooling anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so we're getting Tekken eight soon. I'm just hoping that when they release it, it ends up being more than what Tekken seven uh, Tekken seven was. It was a massive disappointment. They made you pay for frame data, which I don't really care about frame data myself. You know, when it comes to frame data, I kind of use more like a primitive sense anyway. I've been that way since a kid. So I know when something's like, you know, fast enough. So something's two frames, three frames, etc. Like I could just look at it and tell. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but, you know, I'm one of those guys. So frame data was never visually seeing, you know, a square on the screen that lets you know what frames, what attack was. You know, I don't, I never really needed that, but. You know, others did, and considering that they made you pay for that, which is something that you know you get for free on like other video games like uh, Street Fighter, etc. That's kind of like ridiculous. But uh, another thing is that I'm, I'm hoping that they actually put an actual story mode in the game. I'm talking about with endings, real endings, not this half-ass bullshit that they did with Tekken Seven, because that wasn't a story mode. That was a lazy attempt at making a Tekken game that still did well, you know, in the, in a fighting game circuit, but at the same time, you know, you're supposed to do more than that. You know what I mean? And what's even crazier is that even in Tekken 7, they put the endings from past Tekken games in the game for you to watch. So <laughs> the fact that you were willing to do that, but you couldn't even put updated endings for the, for the, for the current roster, that's ridiculous. Now, Code Vein 2, I'm not surprised that they're doing this either because I played the hell out of Code Vein and there's still, even though they kind of drew comparisons between Code Vein and uh, God Eater that kind of exists within the same realm or it's a part of the same story, Code Vein still has some things to answer. You know, about the Red Mist, um, about the monsters that they were keeping out, um, and possibly even tie up any loose ends that the game has in connection with God Eater, because there were similar monsters, I mean, well, not even similar, but the same monster uh, that appeared, it was one monster, he almost looked like a dragon or a chimera, he had like a beard, like an old man's face, and that very same monster was in God Eater. Um, as one of the tougher monsters to fight so and if, if I remember correctly they didn't even let you fight that monster in in Code Vein it was just a moment in the story where the red mist went down and all the monsters that they were trying to keep on the outside of the red mist came in and that was one of the monsters that you know that was one of the main monsters that showed up so they definitely got an answer uh, about that so 
with uh, One Punch Fighters Association. I'm hoping this is more so like an like an RPG adventure game because the arena fighter that they did flopped so bad that we don't need no more arena fighters. Least of all, one of One Punch Man because that game didn't even make it past the beta. It didn't. You don't see nobody live streaming it. Nobody cares about that game. It was like once they announced that one Punch Man, or excuse me, Saitama, um, was going to be in the game. Everybody just gravitated towards him, and he was so overpowered. He had infinite super armor. It was like you couldn't make him flinch. So they had to release, and even what makes that even more prevalent that they messed up with that is that they had to put a quote unquote dream version of Saitama in the game just to have a balanced version of the character in the game so i'm just hoping that this is that this isn't an arena fighter and they do something completely different or maybe even make it into like an actual fighting game kind of like what they do with dragon ball fighters so i can only hope now dragon ball xenoverse 3 this has been a game that everybody has been wanting for so damn long and they didn't beat xenoverse 2 to death xenoverse 2 has outlived itself literally at one point that game was completely dead and then the developers suddenly found out that they had a community of people who were still dedicated to playing the game and then they decided to put more time and effort into developing dlc for the game that was way past the game's expiration date so i mean I will say Xenoverse 3 is well overdue. Um, so I do believe all these games have reasons to, you know, come out. You know, they're not going to, like, I'm, I don't doubt for a second that these that these are actual games that will be out between the end of this year and between the end of next year. Um, it's just the time frames that I don't really believe, you know. I'm pretty sure one or two of these games will get pushed back. Um, as far as when, I mean, like I said, Dragon Ball The Breakers is said to be coming out towards the end of this year. Um, well, in 2022, and we still got the whole fourth quarter to uh, for that. Um, so we might be looking at maybe the holiday season, maybe even early next year. Who knows? Um, Little Nightmares, I'm pretty sure that's going to come out because they want to they wanna release games that's going to have a big impact. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of them. Uh, Elden Ring, it makes sense. Code Vein, I'm pretty sure that's going to come around, come out sometime during Halloween. Let's be honest here. Uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth 2, I mean, hey, let's go for it. Uh, the second quarter... Dragon Ball Fighters Super, you know what? I'm I'm thinking of it. They probably want to release that in time for Evo next year, if anything, or at least have an announcement for it during Evo next year. Because during the second quarter, you know, January, February, March, you know, April, May, June, that that gives them just enough time to release something to have an, a big announcement for uh, Evo 2023. Um, Tekken 8, same thing. But I think next year is when we're going to actually get like a trailer or something. Maybe even toward the end of this year. But I do believe the roster leak. And I hope that they would, you know, even with this, maybe they even release more stuff. But, you know, I'm going to leave the link to this in the description. You guys can check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.